So hi there and welcome to a, another Guitar Fingers uh, tutorial. <clears throat> this is on the Christmas song Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire uh, by Mel Tome and Robert Wells. Uh, I've done an arrangement of this in A major. So a nice little chord melody type as they're often called in kind of jazz arrangements if you want to use the word jazz here. It's become a jazz standard. Um, what I've tried to do is keep as faithful as I can, of course, to the melody. So that's uh, obviously the same as in the original. Uh, I've just done some slight alterations on the chords. Uh, obviously, when played as a piano, you can get those fabulous uh, alterations. Uh, I've minimised them down, but uh, made it more guitar centric to uh, allow us guitar players to play uh, some nice jazzy, uh, Christmassy sounding chords that uh, fit very nicely with the song. So what I thought I would do is um, show you how to go through the song phrase by phrase. I've added the tab, of course, to the arrangement, and uh, this arrangement can be bought from Sheet Music Plus using the links below. Uh, on the, the If you're watching this on the YouTube, you can uh, see the link below in the box. Um, you can also uh, check out any other videos that I do by going to uh, my website www.greensmith.info uh, or the Guitar Fingers YouTube website. Keep uh, subscribed to those and you'll see lots of videos coming out. So let's have a look at this opening phrase. Um, the best way I can describe this I think really is to always learn the melody line first. If you learn the melody line first then uh, the chords just tend to drop in underneath and I'll explain the chords as I go along because I've made some alterations and even alterations you'll see to the like the uh, what you call the standard published versions just to give it our own feel really. So um, the way I suggest you do this is use the fingerings that I've given in the music. Um, obviously the tab doesn't show you the fingerings, it just shows you the frets and the strings, but the music above, uh, the music uh, will show the fingerings for the notes, but I'll just go through them. So we start off with a finger two on that A. Then what you'll see is that I use a finger four for the high A. Now we've got a slight change, it's going to be finger one and I'm going to do a little three string bar eight, um, for the G sharp. Okay, on fret four, then I'm going to play F sharp, fret seven on string two there, E. I'm not going to play an open E, I'm going to play fret five. Um, then I'm going to come down finger four to a D natural. Okay, so we've had a D sharp prior to that, so that's why it's written as a D natural for this melody line D. The D natural, the D sharp was actually in part of the harmony that's produced. Um, and then I just bring that down to play the A's, uh, sorry, the C sharps. So let's just go through that again, nice and steady. Uh, we start with the A's. Okay, so you can see there's the... Uh, the, the line where it goes chestnuts roasting on an open fire. So let's add some chords underneath that and let's see what chords we're actually going to play. So it's an A major that starts with, um, but I've just altered it very slightly um, to be, so we've got the A's, and there's my A bass as well. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, when I play that, I'm going to put fingers three and four down on frets three uh, on strings two and three, uh, two and one, sorry. So at the moment they're resting on D and G's. And the reason for that is, and you'll see why, they're going to act as guide fingers. They're going to go up two frets. Okay, so I've got, there's my two A's. Everything goes up two frets. So this is now what we call, well I call it, an A ninth chord. I've got my A, I've got an E, the fifth note of the A chord, and a B. Okay, so give it that kind of jazzier, kind of nice sound. Um, so B is the ninth note, or the second note uh, of the A major scale, A1, B2, or if you do an octave, A8, B9. So it's just often commonly called the ninth chord, because we've got put an octave between that and the low A there. So you can call it A2 if you want, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so just let's have a look at that, get those hands in position, get those fingers on the frets and then we play the two A's. Up we come for the chord now, the harmony notes, the E and B. Now a half bar A at fret uh, 5 you can see there. So we've got A, B, D 
sharp G sharp so that's a major seventh uh, sorry E major seventh an E chord with a D sharp at the top so that's uh, the major seventh and then you've got the, the third note of the E scale G sharp okay, it gives again that very nice uh, mellow jazzy sounds and then you just play the rundown from there so here's our chord E major seventh F sharp E now you have to release it to come to D natural and then you move finger four down to C sharp, put finger two on a G sharp, finger three on a E there on string four. So you've got C sharp, fret two, G sharp, fret one on string three, and E, fret two, string four. Okay, and that's an A major seventh chord because A with the G sharp uh, there. Uh, and then we've got the melody notes with the C sharps again. So. So learning to play the melody line first with the correct fingers yeah, will really help you then because we're simply just adding the harmonies, the chords if you like, underneath. And remember those techniques about learning the melodies um, because it, if you use the melodies with the fingerings that's given um, you'll find that these techniques will just work all the way through, all the way through the song. Right, so that's our first line of the song. It seems to take a long time to get there, but hopefully that's give you uh, a good idea. And obviously the tab replicates all uh, those fingerings. Right, so now we've got uh, a little similar type of phrase, uh, which is Jack Frost nipping at your nose. It's just an A on its own this time for a variation. And then uh, the chord underneath. Okay, so we could call this an A sixth chord if we want. A, uh, the sixth note of the A scale is F sharp, we we'll just put that on the top, so now it's got that, just that slight, if you let everything ring on, so the A, and then with the B and uh, F sharp, okay, you can hear that chord completely ringing on all together, so I don't lift that A here, lift to play that, I, let, I just let them ring on because it sounds nicer. So here we go. Okay, now we've got another rundown. So E, D natural, C sharp, B. Okay, and then another replication of that A sixth chord. We've got A, F sharp, and an A. Okay, so now the F sharp is just lower rather than here. Again, this terminology, uh, it confuses a lot of people, but if you just think F sharp is the sixth note, if you want to put it higher up, then we could just add seven and call it A13, uh, okay, uh, or A6. It really doesn't matter. Um, so don't get confused if you come across these kind of terminologies. Just think of what the note is in relation to the, the chord root note, uh, what that note is, and then just count up, and it's kind of either a six or whatever, add seven to come 13. So let's have a look at that little phrase again. and getting to these. You can see I'm using fingers two and four there. You could use fingers one and three. Okay, you can use fingers one and three if you want to change there. I'm just giving you the fingerings that maybe a normal classical guitar player like me would use, but I've got no problem in changing there to one and three. It just seems easy as me to just do fingers two and four on that A6 chord. Okay, so now we get the next part, uh, Yuletide Carols being sung by a choir. And again, you can see that I'm relating everything to the lyrics because to me, it just makes it much easier for me to hear the song in my head and actually think, what am I playing instead of just a bunch of notes? So uh, we could call this an F sharp minor chord if you want, F sharp, uh, low bass, A, the third there. Okay, again, there's many variations. That, one thing to remember here is with guitar music, with the uh, structure and the texture, so the amount of harmony notes in between, for example, a form of bass, whether it's the tonic bass or some inversion, and the harmony notes is often very small compared to a piano player. So the naming of the chords can often be a little bit ambiguous, um, but what I do is I give it a name and then I say, right, that's what I'm going to call it, and then I remember that. So I'm going to call this F sharp minor to a D chord, so I've got uh, D with Bs, back to A uh, and 
B again, so I'll just go through it again. So here's my F sharp with an A. Now the run with the D bass, so B, B, A, B. Right, so now I get, lo and behold, another uh, A6 or 13th chord, uh, just played as a, a triplet over um, two beats. So it's got this kind of slower feel. Okay, so there's my C sharp E finger four, plays a um, F sharp there. And the reason I'm doing that, again, so I'll play just the melody now. Okay, so I've got finger three, E finger four, F sharp, that goes up, and that's going to add a, harm there's going to be a harmony, a chord underneath it. Okay, so there's my G sharp there. Then the next note, F sharp, I'm not going to come back down here. I'm going to play my F sharp on fret 7 of string 2. Okay, so remember that. So I'll just play those notes again. So finger 3 was playing C sharp. Up it goes. Now I'm going to change. I'm going to go to fret 7, F sharp. Okay, then that comes down. There's going to be another chord underneath that, E sharp. Obviously, we know that fret 6 is an F, but we'll call it E sharp here because the chord is a C sharp 7th uh, chord, if I remember right. Okay, so let's stop there and let's um, just add some of these uh, chords underneath. So I've already started with an easy one, which was the F sharp minor, D. Okay, here's our A6 or 13. You can see that I've kept my finger 3 down there on that C sharp. Up it goes again. Okay, so now I've got a F sharp in the bass. Finger two is playing a A sharp. We've got a D sharp and a G sharp. Okay, so these are very strange sounding chords compared to standard major and minor. Um, but what it really is, is F sharp uh, major, F sharp, A sharp, add a ninth, G sharp. So F sharp to G sharp is two, uh, but add seven becomes nine. And then I've added a sixth. Again, the word that here you can keep hearing this coming through, sixths, nines, seconds, thirteenths, whatever. I've just added another harmony note. That D sharp, F sharp to G, uh, F sharp to D sharp is six. Okay, so, so we get that beautiful Christmassy, jazzy sound. And it's just all in the fingerings, just moving the frets up, uh, fingers on the frets up. Okay, so now we're going to play um, a G sharp seventh chord. Okay, I think this is the bit where it goes and folks dressed up as uh, Eskimos, and that's it. Um, so uh, let's have a look at that. There we go. I got that um, F sharp on fret seven, low G sharp. So I'm doing a bar A now at fret 4. Uh, F sharp is under the bar, bar A there on string 4. And B sharp, we know C natural, but we'll call it uh, the B sharp for, the, for this chord G sharp. So I've got string 6, 4, 3, 2. Straight forward, just G sharp, 7th chord. Uh, and all I do, I bring finger 4 back. Uh, I've got a bar A, uh, still at fret 4, I've got E sharp there for the finger 4, C sharp under the bar A, G sharp, finger 3, okay now on fret 6, um, and B natural, so that's under the bar A as well for fret 4, so frets wise it goes 4, 6, 4, 6, C sharp, G sharp, B natural, E sharp, so this is my C sharp seventh chord. Now a slight kind of little key change here. The way I like to play it, you could play this here by going, okay, and it's written in the tab as this D, G, F, G natural with an E, D there. So just very simple, perhaps a lot more comfortable there. I'll show you the way I like to play it. Is I here's my C sharp seventh chord. I just like to slide up. That, that G there at fret 8 with my D bass down to F fret 6 open E then to help me change now okay. uh, finger 
before I put on a D there. C sharp, um, uh, what could we call this? Um, minor seventh, I think. Um, have to have a think about that. Uh, it probably sounds about right. Um, C sharp minor seventh chord. Yeah, so C minor third, C sharp minor third, E and B um, for the seventh. Okay, so that's bar eight. Finishing off now with. Everybody knows that. And that's the continuation into the next verse. So we'll just add the chord underneath. So it's an E seventh chord with a B in the bass, E, G sharp, E, B, sorry, G sharp, E. Hold those down as you get the rundown. And it's just a repeat of what's going on there in verse two. So, always try to play the melody line first using the fingerings that I've given uh, because they're going to help support the chords much in easier underneath. If you kind of just play the melody line however you want to, that's absolutely fine and you can probably just add a bass note. Uh, you just might not get ease of fingerings for the remainder of the uh, chords that go underneath. So uh, I played that as an introduction and you can see now uh, how we build that up. So let's move on. Um, we're going to move to the next part, uh, which uh, the first few bars are exactly the same. So that's bars 9, 10, 11 and 12. Um, and then we come to bar 13, where we've got some slight variations just in the rhythms. But the, the notes are kind of similar until it just changes towards the end. So uh, we're going to go to bar 13, which the words, I'll just check, are tiny tots with their eyes all aglow. So let's have a look at that from bar 13. Now. So we've got our F sharp minor, tiny tots. So that's our A, A, B. We'll just add the basses now. You can see from the tap how that's played with just those frets and strings, but if you get to learn to know the notes, uh, it's much better. Um, right, so now we've got our um, uh, A13 or A6 chord again. We played it down here before. Um, C sharp, E, F sharp, but I'm not going to play it there now because I'm going to make it easier for me to play up here. So I'm just going to play the melody line. So I've got my A, A, B, A, B, C sharp, finger two on fret six of string three, finger one uh, plays an E, finger four plays F sharp, so that's fret six, five, seven, uh, for C sharp, E, uh, F sharp, strings three, and then strings two. Just move finger four up to G sharp, fret nine. Um, we're going to have a bar A there, but we won't play that at the moment. So that's that's the reason for doing that. Fingers two, one, four, move it up, fret nine, G sharp, bring it back down, F sharp again. Okay, so let's just do those two bars. Just playing, just playing melody line only. So we've got A, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp is a dotted note there, so that's B, three, four, and if you're counting it like that. Um, now then, let's add our harmonies underneath uh, and bass notes. Here's our F sharps, F sharp minor, D, A bass with the uh, A thirteenth chord. Move that up to the G sharp and now put a bar A at fret six. So I've got D sharp on fret five. Um, I've got a A sharp at fret eight uh, on string four. I've got a C sharp under the bar A at fret six on string three. Okay, so it's strings five, four, three, two, and frets six for the bar A, eight for the A sharp under the bar A fret 6 uh, for C sharp and then F sharp. So I just play that, uh, oh, let's add the bit on underneath. There's my C sharp, F sharp, 
up it goes. Okay, you can just pull back on those chords, they're quite nice. So just you can either roll them if you like, just to give them an extra effect. Very simply, we just bring finger four all the way down to um, F sharp, bar eight, fret four, and we've now got G sharp under the bar A string four, F sharp. Finger two is going to play a uh, B sharp because it's a, a G sharp seventh chord, G sharp, F sharp, B sharp, F sharp. Okay, so let's just try to play that all together, those two bars, 13 and 14. Thirteenth, up at the fifth position. Okay, so here's my D sharp chord. It's D sharp eleven if we want to give it a proper name, um, and then down to G sharp seventh. Okay, now uh, we're still in that bar eight. Right? This is fret uh, sorry bar fifteen. We're still at position four with the bar eight, right? and we just changed to a C sharp minor seventh chord. So what have we got here? Under the bar, we've got C sharp, string five. Finger three is now playing fret six, G sharp. We've got a B natural under the bar at fret four, string three, and an E at fret two. There. So it's just a C sharp uh, minor seventh chord. Finger four then just drops on fret six. You can see that fret six of string three to get the. I think this is the find it hard to sleep tonight part. So. Okay, then let's carry on. We just go straight forward to a F sharp. Okay, F sharp major seventh, yeah. So F sharp seventh chord. Right? So F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, F sharp. So just just a standard bar eight fret two, finger two on uh, the A sharp. Stretch out for that E. Then we come down and got a no we stay in the second position actually bar right there b minor seventh okay b f sharp a d so props these are becoming a little bit more familiar with you there as written in the tab and then um two uh, sorry back on that yeah what have we got e e and g sharp two play bar 15 nice and slowly so just so we can hear what's happening here okay so that's verses one and two uh, what I'll do I'll put a uh, second video up um, now dealing with the middle section and followed by the uh, out verse uh, and that'll break the video length up a little bit to help